We're good, aren't we? What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. Ah, and you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Uh, uh. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Ah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger, or a lion, or a zebra, just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam? It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. Him, our zebra. Well, you can call him that. 
Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audiences? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of mumbo jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there? in the glare of those arc lamps. Something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right. See what I can do. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found a caravan down the way. Margaret said you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from Timbuktu, weren't he? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Uh, of course. <laughs> Which way did he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop on that wagon and uh, I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like... Looks like blood to me. Ah, shit. What's this? Uh, oh. I found your dog. Ex dog. Ex. Hey, dog. boy. Ex lion. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <laughs> Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <sighs> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Ah, uh, dog. Ain't having any luck. If that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. 
Cougars and dogs? Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. That's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and, and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shh, shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Sorry, girl. All right, let's go. And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they were close and all. Wild creatures turn on each other. Seemingly friend one minute, then or the next. This just this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. John Marston. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He needs a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked, too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Oh, you have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for... Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarring and feathering a donkey's one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But you go playing dress-up dolls with a wild animal? You better be a whole lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Well, she liked him fine. Licked her chops and asked for seconds. Speaking of which, you got word on the other runaway lion, or it'll pay me for these misfits. Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary bloody lane. You got word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A, a dog? Now, if you'll excuse me, step aside. What? I said, step aside. Here, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Go on, boy. Let's go home. Mother of... Oh. oh, there. Oh, easy, boy. Shit! Just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion? You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that that escaped animal was actually real? You Steady moron! On. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! <laughs> You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Daddy ain't here. We had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the light? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. I won't keep you. 
So long. So long, Mr. Marsden. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Oh.